All right. Um, today, I am going to show you how you can give your filters in Faceplant a little bit more character and unique sounding than uh, compared to what they really are. Um, I heard some people um, complain about how the filters don't have so much character in them and that they sound dry or digital or whatever you call it. Um, they, a lot of people feel that they miss this analog character that you can find in many other plugins today or, or in hardware synthesizer uh, th since. So um, I loaded up an instance of Faceplant here. Um, I'm going to leave this random on because I'm going to map it to our filter. And I'm just going to create an analog right here. And then we're going to run it through a filter. And we're going to take another analog over here. And uh, maybe another one. Why not? And the idea is since this filter, if you use a filter in the generator section, um, it can be modulated by either a wavetable. You can modulate to the cutoff. Well, not the wavetable, sorry, uh, from, from an oscillator. And you can modulate the Q, also known as the resonance of the filter. Um, and the same thing actually goes for the distortion module right over here. You can map this to, to, to the filter as well. So I figured out that if you want to give it some character, um, you can utilize these other generators in order to, to make it sound more unique and have a little bit more bite. Um, so I'm, I have a clip here, just an ordinary saw. I'm going to change this to bandpass, give it some resonance, maybe boost again a little bit. Nice. And then I'm going to have a slice EQ just to get rid of those lows. And some of the very highs as well, around 10k. That's perfect. And um, <clears throat> let's make this FM first. Let's map our random over here, around 50%, but with the modulation depth a little bit lower. I mean, to me, the filter sounds pretty good as it is. Um, I haven't, I, I can't complain about it. However, let's um, try this little approach that I figured out not long ago. See? Let's um, turn off the random. You can even make it self-modulate. And I mean, the, 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 the difference it makes, it's quite subtle, especially if you, if you modulate this one. But let's crank this up even more. Let's change the slope. Clipping there a little bit. And that's taking it to the little bit extreme. So let's turn this off. Um, 
Um, and we can even, let's try to the cutoff. And we can even go crazier with this. We can, for example, let's uh, let's uh, modulate this one. And let's um, turn on this. So this is a filter without any modulation going on except for the random. And if we take this guy that has a lot of harmonics and then we start modulating this, for example. Uh, where is it there? modulate the Q or the cutoff, sorry. Now it becomes really, really noisy. Let's see what happens if we take a distortion module. This can go really crazy though. Uh... Yeah, uh, let's see how it sounds with the kick and bass. See if we switch it. Um, so yeah, I mean, um, I would say try and experiment with yourself um, and um, try out with different wavetables, try modulating with a distortion, um, 
make the filter self-modulate, uh, try uh, different amounts and, and just experiment, you know, and you can get really unique characteristics to your filters inside of Faceplant. Um, remember, this only works if you have the filter in the generator section, and same goes with the distortion. It won't work um, if you use uh, the filter from here. Where is it? There. Because, as you can see, you're not allowed to modulate anything from here. And, I mean, you can use the amount by changing the level of the modulators over here. So, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys.